In the previous lecture, we learned about compound microscopes. Now, let's actually apply what we learned to the following example. So let's suppose we have a certain compound microscope that has an eyepiece with a magnification of times 10 and we have an objective lens with a magnification of 60 times. Now, if the distance between the two lenses is 22 centimeters, in part A, find the total magnification of our compound microscope. In part B, find the focal length of the eyepiece, assuming we're dealing with a normal eye. And in part C, find the focal length of our objective lens. So let's begin with part A and let's begin by recalling what a compound microscope is. So a compound microscope is essentially a system of two convex lenses as shown. We have the objective lens and we have the eyepiece lens. Now in this particular diagram, the separation distance between these two lenses is given by L. Now, this objective lens produces an image of this upright object shown by the red arrow, which is positioned at the focal point of the objective lens. It produces an image exactly at the focal point of the eyepiece, and this image is shown by the dashed purple arrow given by eye. So the object and the image produced by the objective lens. Now, the image distance, the distance from this point to our objective lens is given by di. And this distance represents the focal length of our eyepiece lens. So this diagram will become important in step C. So let's begin with part A. So to find the total magnification of the system of two lenses, we simply find the magnification of each individual lens and we multiply those two quantities. So we know that the eyepiece is 10 times and the objective is 60 times. So the total magnification is the product of the two. So 60 multiplied by 10, the magnification of the objective multiplied by the magnification of the eyepiece gives us 600 times. So that basically means that the final image that our eye observes will be 60 times or 600 times that of the size of our object. Now let's move on to part B. The focal length of the eyepiece, assuming that the eye with which we're observing is essentially a normal eye. So that basically means that the near point of this particular normal eye is 25 centimeters. Now, in our previous discussion on compound microscopes, we said that our magnification of the eyepiece is equal to the near point divided by our focal focal length of the eyepiece. Now, of course, we're making the assumption that the second image produced by the eyepiece is found infinitely far away. So, let's rearrange our equation and solve for the focal point or the focal length of our eyepiece. So, the focal length of the eyepiece is equal to n divided by me. Now, n is 25 centimeters and it comes from this assumption. And this quantity is given by the following value. So, 25 centimeters divided by 10 gives us a focal length for the eyepiece of 2.5 centimeters. So that means the distance from this lens to this is given by 2.5 centimeters. Now let's move on to part C. Find the focal length of the objective lens. Now to begin, we must first calculate the object distance. In other words, what is the distance from the object to the objective lens? And to find that, we must use the following equation. 
which we discussed in the previous lecture on compound microscopes. So the magnification of the objective lens is equal to L, this separation distance between the two lenses, minus Fe, which is simply this distance here. It's the focal length calculated in part B divided by the object distance, what we're looking for. So we're given what L is, we're given what this is, and we know from part Part B what this is so we should solve for the object distance so the object distance is equal to L minus F E divided by M O now L is 22 centimeters we know that this quantity was found to be 2.5 centimeters and we divide by 60 so that means 22 minus 2.5 which is 19.5 centimeters divided by 60 gives us about 0 0.325 centimeters is the distance from the objective lens to our object. Now we can use the following relationship to calculate what the image distance is. So the image distance is the distance from this image to our objective lens because this is the lens that produces this image. Now how exactly can we calculate this distance? Well we know what this distance is and we know what the separation distance is. So if we take the L and subtract this we get this leftover which is di our image distance. So the image distance is equal to L minus Fe. Now L is 22 centimeters, Fe is 2.5, then the image distance is 19.5 centimeters. And finally, to find the focal length of the objective lens of this particular lens, we simply use the thin lens equation. So, 1 divided by what we're looking for, our objective focal length is equal to 1 divided by the image distance plus 1 divided by the object distance. So the image distance is 19.5 centimeters. The object distance is 0 0.325 centimeters found in this section. So we add these and then we solve for our objective focal length and we see that the focal length of the objective lens is equal to about 0 0.32 centimeters. So notice that these two quantities are very closely the same. In fact, we can usually approximate that our object is found exactly on our focal point of the objective lens.